I'm Scott Land. I've been a puppeteer for over 40 years now, and I'm very happy that you're part of our place where you can buy marionettes and then build them as a kit yourself. So, we're happy that you're here. We're going to be seeing you again very, very soon as Lisa and I put you through this entire educational video. Thank you. Oh, look what we got. A beautiful box. And what's inside? Oh, this is our kit. Hold on, let's see what this is. Inside of this bag, we have... Ah, the beautiful puppet head of the balloon blowing clown. We got a set of legs. Right, left. The body. Okay, what else? We've got the balloon and the string. That right over there. Comes with the tube for blowing up the balloon. We got the felt for the shoes on the very bottom of each shoe. This is the hair that we use for the crown. The two neck balls. The main controller of the marionette. This will be how we perform the puppet. This is the rod that goes through the hip to hold the legs on. And there's one more thing. This is the costume that we put on the puppet. These are all the things that we need to build your marionette. And this is your bag that you store your marionette in as well. So these are the tools that you're going to need while you're putting your marionette together. A pair of needle nose pliers, a pair of scissors, pencil, masking tape, some contact cement, and finally a sewing needle. You'll need all of these tools. So let's bring you back over to Lisa so she can tell you what she's going to do with her paint job. Hi, I'm Lisa. Thank you for buying the Balloon Blowing Clown Kit. Scott has created this for you and we at Team Land have put this together so it's pretty easy. You're not going to have any trouble at all. And I'm going to show you how to paint this. So you'll be painting the head, you'll be painting the shoes, and you'll be painting the hands. This is what we call a goose clown. We're going to do a white face clown. And the first thing that you're going to need to paint is paintbrushes. And we found a great deal on Amazon. You're not going to use all of these brushes, but let me tell you, it's such a great deal. It's $20. And there's about 15 brushes in here. And um, again, they're beautiful. I like the way they, I like the way they work. I like the uh, texture. They're just nice brushes. The next thing that you're going to need is a little art set. And we just make sure that your artist paints are, or your paints are artist quality. They're acrylic, they thin with water. And there's about 12 colors in here. And I've actually taken the liberty of using some of these, you can see by my fingers, and for you and testing them out. And they're actually pretty darn good. So we're going to go with those. They also have so many colors in there that you can paint your eyes on your puppet a brown. Uh, you can make them blue or you can make them green. It's a very easy thing to do. So you got your paint and your brushes. So that's, you've got some things down. And you've got a list of these things, so don't worry too much if I skip over something. Um, we're going to use a white Elmer's glue or any kind of white school glue. And that is a retardant that I'm going to use. It just means slowing the paint down to dry. And that's going to be for the eyes. That's an important thing, so kind of have that kicking around. Um, <clears throat> I have a Krylon. It's a gloss clear coat, but I'd rather you use a matte finish. And because when you're doing things on stage, you do not want the lights to shine on gloss, but 
for time, we had some we had some gloss in the cabinet, so that's what we got. I'd rather you use a dulling spray like this. It's a little more expensive, um, but again, you can find something that's matte, and you don't have to pay fifteen dollars for that. Um, a little bit of acetone, which is um, just fingernail polish remover, and I use that when I make a boo boo because it's like having your number two pencil, which is another thing you might need you have an eraser and it's wonderful to have an eraser because it gives you that freedom to paint and to not worry and that's what acetone is used for um, i have a little just a stupid little mug here i love this mug it's kind of big and it's it doesn't tip over we have it you know it's a nice heavy little mug put some water in it <clears throat> from the tap i have a little masterson stay wet palette and i like these because again Acrylic paint dries pretty darn quick, but this keeps it kind of wet and fresh for you. If you don't have this, do not worry. Get yourself a little paper plate and you'll be just fine. Another tool I like to use is a little Q-tip. And um, I get the long ones because you can get into the crevices and things like that. But um, this is when you take a little boo-boo, you might wanna dip it into your acrylic, I mean, to your acetone, excuse me, and just swipe off the acrylic paint and then you're good to go um i have a clear coat uh top coat for nails and it's just a sally hansen it's a mega shine and what we're going to use that for is after we paint the eyes in you know any color blue green brown you take um take a little bit of this and gloss the eyes up and it really makes it pretty you also um can can gloss up your um little you know, little mouth if you want to, because you know, these are pretty genderless. You can make yours a girl or a boy or genderless, um, but they're white-faced Auguste clowns. And I think what we're gonna do is we're just gonna go ahead and start painting right now, because again, I really like these little paints here. Again, the brushes were $20, the paints were 10. So I think that's really what you really just need to purchase. Uh, the rest of the things you can, you know, pretty much have around your house. So we're gonna pop a little bit of the titanium white onto the palette. And I'm gonna use the number 10 brush. It's a number 10 flat. It's the big, pretty much the biggest one I think in there. There may be a, another one. Oh, they actually have two um, number 10 flats. That's great, that's awesome. So there's a wider one, it looks like, or yeah, just a little bit wider. So you can use either one, it's not a big deal. And um, you take a little bit of paint you might want to pop a little water on your brush and thin your paint down. Um, it's just so easy. You know, you just pop a little guy on here and you want to give this two thin base coats of white, even though it's already kind of a white color because our team primed it for you to accept this paint. It's going to be really, really lovely once you get two nice coats of white on there. And again, you're gonna let the coats dry between, uh, you're gonna let a little time dry between the coats. Probably about 10 minutes. Depends on, you know, if you're in a hot studio or if you're in hot Las Vegas like we are. And it just gonna, you, know, you can paint everything. You know, just, just dab it on there. You don't even have to be, you know, really cute about it. Just throw it on there. And you see I have this little towel right here. And it's so nice to be able to put this little guy on the towel because he likes to roll around. And I'm gonna do all that. It's a nice thin coat, no thickness. That's what I really like about this paint. It's really buttery, really buttery. It's really smooth. Okay, so we're gonna let that dry. You're gonna let it dry for 10 minutes and you're going to put another coat on. And what we're going to do next is the hands. Because they need a little white as well. So here's some more white. Your titanium white. And you take your little hands. And what I like to do is I like to do two coats on them as well. Um, when you're using a marionette, when you're manipulating and you're doing shows with a marionette, a good paint job is going to be the best friend you've ever had because you will not have to paint it every time you chip it. 
it's going to look really, really nice for a really long time. That's why we're using really great quality stuff. So put a nice coat just like you did the head. Easy, easy peasy. Do it on one side. Get it all in there in between the fingers. If you want, you can pull up a little bit onto the arm. Not a big deal. You're really not going to see the, the, um, the arm portion. But here you go. So we're going to do that side, the front side. We're going to let that dry. We're going to do the front side of this one. And this is the bling bling clown hand. As you can see, there's a hole in there. That's where the tube goes through. That's the hand he uses to blow up a balloon. Sorry, lefties. He's a right-handed clown. And you get the idea. Two coats. Let this dry. Turn it over. Do another coat. And then repeat that process. We're going to paint the shoes. Now, if you have spray paint at home, <clears throat> you might just want to take it outside and give it a little spray. No big deal. But we're dealing with um, acrylics here in the studio, and we don't want to paint anything. We don't want to spray stuff. So I'm going to pick, I'm just going to pick a, pick a black. And I'm going to put that right here. And we're going to give that just a little bit of black, just to show you. You don't, you'll probably need about two to three coats of this black on your shoe. Actually, it's really great. One coat is really great, so probably just two. And you don't even have to paint the bottom because you're gonna put felt on that. So just paint all the way down, you know. You feel like Bob Ross, happy little brush, happy little shoe. And do two coats on each. So this is now a fully um, base coated with titanium white head. You've, it's been about 30 minutes or so because you've painted one coat, let that dry for about 10 minutes, and then come back in with a second coat, let that dry for about 10 minutes. It's not tacky, it's really good, it's easy to touch. And so we're just going to paint the whites of the eyes. Now the whites of the eyes are not going to be fully titanium white because whites of eyes are not really bright white. So what we're going to do is we're going to take a little bit of the titanium white. I have a little bit of the yellow ochre from the pack and sometimes it's called yellow oxide in Liquitex and, and golden and other colors like that. That's totally fine, same color. So white titanium white, a little bit of yellow ochre and a little bit of black. So I'll take a big scoop of the white, kind of put it over here to the side, a little bit of the black, just a tiny tad. See, it's on my brush, just a tiny bit. See, we got a nice gray going there. Maybe a little bit more black than I wanted. But here we go, we're gonna put a little bit of yellow on there, the yellow ochre, and we're going to mix that in. And now it's, you know, it's a little too dark. But that's okay, you know, that's okay. This is what we do when we paint. So we're gonna come back in and we're gonna add a little more titanium white right beside it. Just a little squeeze, not too much. And actually take that white in and mix it in just till you get a nice, nice lighter color. There you go. Look at that nice light. Maybe a little bit more yellow. Just, just for me. Just do it like that. You get the nice color you want. It might look a little dark. Don't freak out. It will dry a little bit darker, but not too much. It's actually gonna be drying pretty close to color here. We'll take the, take the fully loaded brush, and I'm talking that brush is fully loaded. You take your little pinky and you use it. You use that pinky to stabilize your hand. It's really the best tool you have on this table is your pinky. And you let the brush do the work. It's such a nice little brush that you go in there like you're painting your toes, for you guys or gals that paint your toes, and or your eyeshadow, and you just let the brush do that work. And now you have the whites of the eyes. Now don't freak out, it looks a little bit stark next to that titanium white, but it's going to look really, really wonderful when you have your iris in there and your dark blue or your dark brown or your dark green. It's gonna be really lovely. So let me finish up this eye and we'll pop that right along here. 
You can do one coat or two. That is totally up to you. It's not a big deal. Uh, whites of eyes, if you're looking in the mirror and you look at the whites of your eyes, it's not all a flat color. So, wonderful. Just make sure you don't have too many, um, too many gloppy blind lines in there. So take your paint and take it off the brush with your little towel here if you need to. See that little pinky? It's stabilizing your hand. Okay, and now we have that wonderful guy. So what we're gonna do now is we're going to, through the magic of television, is bring out the one that we've already done and it's already dry. Let this dry overnight and the reason being is that you really want these colors, th these base coats to stick. And this is a urethane product underneath here. And acrylic paints are a little, shall we say plasticky and they can peel off easy if you don't let this dry very well. Um, come back the next morning and we're going to start painting. So we're going to start painting uh, from top to bottom. And I like to start with the eyebrows and do the nose and do the mouth. That's all black, believe it or not. And I like to, you can use gray if you want to on the nose and mouth, but that would be a, a primer undercoat for a red because reds are very translucent and they just, they just require a lot of coats. So if you put black undercoat or a gray undercoat, it doesn't take as many coats of red and it just really looks rich and beautiful. So we're gonna actually start that. And you take your number two pencil and you can draw your eyebrows any way you want. If you wanna, you know, Google your eyebrows, you go right ahead. If you want to make a stencil, you go right ahead. I've been doing this for so long, I freehand, and they do not need to be exactly the same on either side. In fact, they look really, really lovely and, and organic when they're not so much the same. But what I'm gonna do is just make a little swoop. And I like to just do a little swoop. Notice my pinky is actually stabilizing my hand as I draw. And it is, I don't know if it's really easy to see for the camera, but it's, it's almost like a little Nike swoosh. <laughs> That's basically what it is. Uh, don't get onto me, Nike. And what we do is we do it over here again. And it does not have to be perfect. It does not have to be, you know, anything. And I like to give a little guy what I like to look, it's like a little furrowed brow look. And that one little eyebrow is up and the other one's up and kind of coming down. So I've got that done. So the next thing is what I'm going to do is I'm going to make his little clown nose. Take your pencil, take your little pinky, put your hand on his little cheek and just draw a little circle around his nose. There's come up under his nose, come around and just a real cute little, little circle. Very easy. And then for his lips, I like to do pouty little lips. Um, I'm calling him a he, but it could be a girl. Um, what I like to do sometimes is to put a little circle on each side of the mouth. That would be here and here. Just a little circle. No big deal. Draw it in. And you can see from the top of the mouth how a mouth looks. A little bow. Give it a little Cupid's bow. It's really cute when you do that. Make it pouty. He's blowing a balloon after all, so it's, you know, should be a little pouty. And here's a nice fun trick. Turn it upside down, put your finger right on his nose right there, and draw the bottom. These are guidelines for you to follow. It's very, very simple. So I'm going to take now, let me get that out of the way. I'm going to take what is the liner brush. It's a, it's a number one liner is what they're calling it. And I'm going to take, wash it off because they have a stiffener on them from the store. Give it a little wetness. Take a little bit of the black. It's so much fun. These liners are great. Love a liner, love a good liner. Load that brush up very, very nicely. Again, take your pinky, put it on his cheek or on his eyebrow right here, and draw. One fell swoop, and you can just draw it right on down. Now you'll notice that there's still some lines left there. I can come back in and do a thicker line, but let that dry. 
That black is beautiful, by the way. These paints are actually pretty darn good. I like these. So we're gonna do the same thing for this side. Just one nice line. And when you do that, see how thick that one side is? I gave, I, I, that's, that is because I put more pressure on this brush. That is such an easy thing to do. Just put in, you know, when you do a little pressure, it gets a thicker line. That line is a lighter pressure. But I can go back in and fix that. Really simple, really easy. Really lovely. Okay, so we're gonna clean that brush up and we're going to start the nose. Now I'm going to take the number four round, which is a nice, it's another round, it's just a smaller round, and we're gonna take the black. Watch your eyebrows because they're still wet. And again, we're working from top to bottom and there's a reason for that because things are wet. And then we're gonna take and we're going to go and just do a nice little, see how I'm turning this head? There's a little pivot with my hand and my pinky right on the nose and you just fall into place and you can pretty much let the brush do the work and your hands do the work go all the way around almost I think I got a yes I did yay and we have a nice little line to fall into and then you just fill that in I would take another little brush called the um, the number eight glaze and take that and just come in and do just like this. Simple, simple, simple. Let the brush do the work. And again, thinner coats, more coats. Don't keep going over on the paint because when you keep going over wet paint, it'll just lift the paint right up. So now we're going to get to, we're gonna pick up our um, number four round again. And now we're gonna to get to the mouth. Again, notice the pinky is sitting right on his chin. And we're just gonna draw right over the number two pencil that we put on there. And give him a little pout. Again, let the brush do the work, let your fingers do the work, let your hand move the head around. Here you go. And be careful, because we're upside down. And do the bottom of the lip. And we can fill that in with the same brush. It's not necessary to go to another brush. And fill that little guy in. Let that dry. Give it another little coat if you want to. You don't really need to. This black is really good. Um, what I'm gonna do is I'm going to give my eyebrow. I want his eyebrow on this side to be almost as thick as the other one. I'm gonna take the liner brush that I use for that, pick it back up, put a little water on it. These paints are so great, just a little bit of water. And I'm going to go right back and do exactly the same thing right beside it. And I'm going to really press down a little bit harder. And when you get to the end, lift up. And that makes a beautiful, beautiful eyebrow. Don't worry if your um, pencil lines are still there. We can erase those later or scrub them off with a little bit of, of uh, dishwashing liquid. And little guy. So this has to dry for a little while until we start doing the red. So what I would suggest now is, as long as these are dry at the top, your eyebrows, you can go in and we can actually take, again, notice my pinky as a leverage, and you, eyes need a little, these are gonna be big eyes. So I'm going to come in with my pencil and just two, two lines down the middle. I don't know if you can see that, but it's just basically a, all the way from the top of the eye down almost to the bottom of the eye. And that makes it easy to make a circle. I told you I'd show you some tricks. So do a little bit of half a circle on one side and bring the other one in on the other side. 
And let's do that again. And let's do that here. And now you have two white base coats on your clown. You have the black um, eyebrows on your clown. You have the black base coat for your red for your nose. You have the black base coat for the red for your mouth. And you have irises in your eyes. We're gonna let this dry for a little while and we're gonna come back and we're gonna do the eyes and the lips, the nose, and some cheeks. It's been about 20 minutes since we did everything and let it dry. It's wonderful, a little asymmetric, well, you know. It, nothing has to be perfect. Faces aren't perfect, and they have much more character when they're not perfect. So you can probably tell mine's not perfect. <laughs> so what we're gonna do now is take the number eight filbert, and a filbert is just a flat brush with rounded edges. See, that's just a flat. They call it a glaze brush, but it's a flat. And it just has rounded edges. So we're going to dip it into the blues here. I have two blues, and I don't know which one I like, but so I wanna mix them together just to do that. Get it really coated. Take your, take your little fulcrum there, you know, use it, and put your eyeshadow on here. Just need a little bit, and you can, you can, Bedazzle your clown any way you like. You can put eyes, uh, eyeliner on him with the black liner brush and some, I mean, the, with the liner brush, excuse me, and some black. Or you can just leave them very, very nice and soft like that without any black around the eyes or eyeliner. Just give it a little blow. There you go. And let's do the other one. Again, I'm just using blue eyeshadow. Again, keep your little guy there. And I'm gonna make it as, as nice as I can all the way up into the crease. There's a nice crease on this guy and you really don't need to put a, a pencil mark. You can just kind of go with that. <laughs> Give it a little, there you go. He's got some nice blue eyes. I think um, orange hair, blue and red and white for a goose clown is actually normal uh, balloon color, oh, excuse me, uh, clown colors. And um, that's, that's just what we do here, is just make it as nice and as good as we can. Um, because, you know, there are real clowns out there who use these colors. Um, what we're going to do next is give it a little spray. Now, we're in the studio, and I'm going to take my Krylon Dulling Spray, and I'm just going to give it a little really, really quick spritz, take it outside. It'll dry in about three minutes. No problem. We're not going to do that in here. I'm going to clean off my filbert brush with a little bit of water and get the blue off. And I use a lot of paper towels, but you know, you don't really have to. If you want to just use a regular old towel that's dirty and wash it in the washing machine, wash it. Just go ahead. It's probably a lot better for the trees. So we get that filbert nice and wet. We take our blue eyeshadow and put it away. We take a nice color. I have these two colors right here that I really like and I want to use them both so I'm going to do exactly the same thing I did with the blue and I'm going to take it, give it a little, coat it on the brush. See it's pretty darn good. There we go. And then take my my pinky and I just want to, it's such a nice, nice Round. There we go. Give it a little cute little highlight. Little cheek. There we go. Oh, isn't that cute? Look, he's coming out. He's, look, he's so cute. Look, he's coming along. So the next thing we're going to do is we're going to, again, take this outside and just open it up. Give it a quick spray on the cheeks. Three minutes, but the time you walk back inside, he'll be done. Awesome. Now, we're going to give the guy a lot more character with blue eyes. Now, you can do brown 
eyes if you want, or you can do green eyes. You have some nice colors in here to choose from. But right now, we're going to do the blue. So we have um, cerulean, which is a lighter blue, and phthalo, which is a darker blue. And of course, you're gonna need a little black for the pupil of the eye. So I'll put a little black up here. We're gonna need a little white, because you always need a little white. I'll put the white in the corner. And it's just a dab, you don't really need a lot. Okay. I'll put some cerulean here in the middle. Oops, we have to open this guy. Just turn it all around and give it a little quick. There you go. And get a little cerulean. Not too much. Don't need a lot. And we're going to do the same thing with the phthalo, which is the darker blue. These are very rich colors. They're beautiful. You're going to love the eyes when you get done with them. And for a retardant, which makes this these paints dry a little slower. Now you can purchase retardant, which is um, you know anything in the the art store. But for general purposes, you don't really need a lot, so that's why we're just using good old inexpensive white school glue. Now I'm going to take probably about two uh, of the rounds, and I think I'm going to do the two and the four round. And I'll probably come in with the seven round as well. And what I like to show is that when you're looking at someone's eyes, normally there's a light where the light's coming, where the sun's coming in. So that's going to be the light side of the eye. So both eyes will be light on one side and both eyes will be dark on one side. So let's go ahead and start with the dark. So simple. Take your number seven round, dip it into your white glue. Get it pretty coated. Take it and put it into your phthalo, your darker blue. Come in with your finger as a fulcrum. Start here. Give it a nice, let your, let your brush do the work. These are such great brushes, you're gonna love this. And then do the same on the other eye. Got a little too much paint on that one. So just wipe it off. This is still wet. Keep working. Work quickly. Wipe your brush off. Dip right back into your glue. Go into your cerulean, your lighter blue. And go do the same thing on that side. There you go. Really cute. We've got some great looking guys here. Look at that. Awesome. Okay, now we're going to take the smaller round, which is the number two round. Let's see what we got here. Nope, I got the four. Let's get the number two. Put some water on it. Take your phthalo blue and just a tad bit of black. Just darken that up just a bit. No big deal, just a bit. And come in right here on the top. It's a little too dark, but that's okay. It's okay. It looks a little dark. Wash your brush. Dry your brush. Put your little finger back on his nose and pull that color right down in, like you're making the little lines in the eye. It works so well, you're done. You are so done. That's how easy that is. You guys, so let's do that again. We're going to take the black and the phthalo again and do the other eye. And just do it right here. Darken it up, darken it up. There we go. And I'm just gonna pull right, I'm not even gonna, yeah, I am gonna do that. And then I'm just gonna pull, pull, pull. Now, here's the fun part. Let this dry. It'll sit here and dry. You can blow on it. Take white, your titanium white.
take a little tiny bit of the cerulean, the light blue, and make yourself a nice baby blue. Put it right there. Boom. Boom. Put it right there. It's lovely. It's lovely. Now, take your black, get a really, really good load up on that brush, really on the tip. Not a lot, just a tiny bit. Don't load your brush up all the way, just on the tip of the brush. Take your little fulcrum, please, your little pinky finger. I told you this little pinky finger is going to come in handy. And pop a little circle right in the middle. Now, if you are worried about this, put it in with a number two pencil first. You've got time. No hurry, no rush. Let's do it again on the other eye. Put his little, and if it's still a little wet, you can come back in lighter, let it dry, and clean that little black up. That's how simple that is. That is so simple. Let it dry. I'm going to do it right now just for you guys. And I'm going to take and do the same thing with white. I'm going to dip it in the tip of that brush, really load it up. And the light's coming from over here, so I'm going to give it like a little, a little two little dots on the upper right hand side of each eye and that is how you do eyes that's as simple as it gets folks you can't get any can't get any simple so what we're going to do next is let this dry a little bit i'm going to get rid of my paper towel look how pretty look how cute that guy is now that you have your eyes painted, they're going to dry pretty quickly. They're still a little wet. If you want, you can always embellish your clown. You can take your black and your liner or your little round, and you can come back in and make eyelashes. You can make a little eyeliner down below. It's up to you. You can put crystals on him or her, whatever. It's no big deal. It's just the basics. But what we're going to do now is we're going to finish up, and we're going to take the... Uh, number eight glaze brush, the black brush, and we're going to take the two reds, the crimson and the vermilion in this case. And the crimson is going to be your base coat of your nose and the vermilion will be your uh, highlight. It's actually fun to do highlights. So we're going to get this paint on here. We're going to take a little bit of the crimson and just give it a little bit. I still have my blue on there from my eyes. And that's totally fine. Just don't cross contaminate. Red is a very, very ornery color. So be careful. That's why we do the red last. We want our hands clean. We want to make sure we do not get red on our hands because we really don't want to transfer that onto here. We've already got this guy. He's all happy. He's all white face. We do not want red on his face. So take a little bit on the tip of your brush. That's about, take, all this is dry, so you can put your little finger right here and do exactly what we do with the black, and that's just pull. Pull, let the brush do the work. Let the brush do the work. It's just that simple. One coat. And let that dry. If you have be careful, don't get it red in your fingers. If you have a little line in there, try to take it off very gently. But if you keep going over it, it will take the red back off. So just do one, two, three, four, boom, you're done on that. So what we're gonna do now is we're going to take another round brush and we're going to take the number four round and we're going to line and fill in your lips. Take a little bit on the tip of the brush, a little red, and that's the crimson, that's the dark red. We're gonna start here, and we're going to do the lining of the lips. You can also see that I've got my little pinky down and I'm turning the head. I'm not, I'm letting the brush in my left hand do the work here. Turn the head and just fill in all of that. The, oops, see, that's what happens. You gotta be careful. 
rinse your finger off really well because red is ornery. It's ornery color. It's bad. It's so pretty. It's just a bad, bad, bad color. Same thing with cake decorating. It kind of likes to bleed. So now we have the nose and the lips have a nice coat of paint. And these studio lights are really drying this paint. Thank goodness. It's great. Okay. Little pouty lip guy. Look at this. Yay. And it's okay if you have a little bit of black showing around the nose. I didn't go around. I'll do that last. I did it first when I put the undercoat of black. I did a liner around and then I filled in. I filled the nose in first. There's a reason for that. And I like to say it's because I'm always a little off and a little crooked and I want to kind of clean it up at the end. And that's what I do. Um, another little trick. So you can do that. The nose is really dry now. So I'm going to go back in with my number eight glaze. I'm going to, I had it in the water. I'm going to dry it off. Get this really thick, nice coat of crimson on here and do that one more time. Watch what you're doing. You probably don't want to put your finger down here because your lips are still wet. Oh my gosh, look at that. That's just, that just works so great. That's really great. You guys are going to be so happy with this. I ain't really two coats. Boom. Done. You know, it's really great. But you can come back in with your little liner that you use, your number four round. And if you're very, very careful, you can come in and clean up the edges where the black is still showing. And it's just that easy. Yep. And I just gave it a little bit more. Oh my God. Awesome. So let it dry for just a few seconds. Take your vermilion, which is your lighter red. Let's open it up. There we go. Some more orange red. So it's just a nice little highlight. Now remember, my highlight is on where? the right side of my eyes. The light's coming from here. So you want to put that same highlight right there on your nose. Look at that. See? Easy. Perfect. You can do the same thing right here because when you look at your lips, the bottom catches the light and the top of the lip is darker. So you can do the same thing. You can take that vermilion. You can actually mix it with a little bit of the the crimson if you want. It's no big deal. You can do anything. And you can come through here and give yourself a pretty lighter coat of red. Take a little vermilion. Give it a little splash across it. Look at that. You are now done. You have finished that puppet. What's it been? A day? A day and 30 minutes? Look how easy that is. That, my dears, is your basic Auguste Balloon Blowing Clown Head from Team Land. Now that your eyes are dry, you can glaze them with your clear nail polish. Again, I use uh, Sally Hansen's Mega Shine. It's really, it really does shine very well. So take it and go over the entire eye, not just the color part, the white too, because your eye is wet in real life. Oh wow, that look, this pops. It's just really, it's just the wonder, it's just a little cherry on top. It's wonderful. Wonderful, and I'll show that to you guys. Oops, we need a little bit more. And now, look at that. Look at that little precious face. Isn't that cute?